So welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already heard, my name is Cassie Jackson and you are watching the Victorian Thimble. Wait, what, 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 say what, what, what? What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. You're watching Cassie Jackson and I've got some fun news for you today. So that's right folks, while I may be bursting with some news for you today, I am gonna pause from that for a moment to just have some fun. So let's take a look at these here. These are the top 10 internet jokes I have found today about sewing. Number 10. A sewing machine walks into a bar and sits down next to another sewing machine. He turns to the other machine and says, are you a singer? The other ma machine turns and replies, why? Do you know me? <laughs> Number nine. Why are Christmas trees bad at sewing? Because they keep dropping their needles. Number eight. What do you call a gathering of quilters? A block party. Number seven. What did the tailor think of her new job? It was so so. Number six. My friend tells me he holds a world record in quilting. Somehow I think the story is fabricated. Number five. What do you call an evil seamstress? A looming thread. Number four. What did the seamstress say to the other seamstress who looked upset? You seem sad. Number three. What do you call a really fast seamstress? Taylor Swift. Number two. Did you hear about the broke tailor? He was barely hanging on by a thread. And the number one joke of the day, what do you call a suit that has been tailor-made for a ghost? Bespook sewing. All right, guys, so that was fun to tell some jokes, and I'm glad you stuck around to hear them all. It's pretty cool, huh? Anyways, so the topic of the video today, I had to change my business name. So let me explain a little to you here. So here's what happened. I knew I have known I've wanted to start a YouTube channel for probably about a year to a year and a half and I think I did mention that to you in one of my previous videos and I knew I wanted to get into this historical sewing community I secretly love historical fashions and this channel is making it so it's not such a secret anymore and so I kept searching for a unique name that would express me express what I'm trying to do and I knew I wanted to use the word thimble because years and years ago, I actually had a little sewing business and I called it the nimble thimble, but that was probably like 15 years ago now, maybe even longer. And the name's gone by now, like someone else since that time has internet and this and that is taken. So I couldn't use that name, but I really liked this idea of what's coming from my thimble, from my thimble to yours. And I wanted this thimble thing in the name. So that was where I came up with the vintage thimble. And guys, I kid you not, at the time that I chose this business name, the vintage thimble.com was available, the vintage thimble.ca, like just about every domain for this business name was available. So I purchased my master business license and I told myself I wasn't going to worry about buying the domain. Yes. Can you hear this coming? <laughs> I wasn't gonna worry about buying the domain until I was actually ready to start my website. So then I was finally ready to start my website, which I'm still working on, and I go to purchase the domain in isn'tthevintagethimble.com taken. <laughs> it is by a small seller with an Etsy store somewhere in the USA, and I wish her all the best in her efforts, and even, after that, I still went on and I bought the vintagethimble.ca 
domain and I was like, I'm going with my name. I'm allowed to operate this way in Canada. There it is. So that's what brought us to what made me change my name. A couple of nights ago, I was laying in bed and I just couldn't sleep. Every once in a while, I get plagued with a bad night of insomnia. Do you guys ever have this? And you know, like the more you can't sleep, the more desperate and anxious you get about sleeping. And in fact, you even start bargaining with yourself and saying, okay, if I can fall asleep by this time, then I'll get that many hours sleep. And when I wake up, everything, I'll be okay. I can do this. I can do this. And then hours later, you're still staring at the clock and you still can't sleep and you're like, now how am I gonna do it tomorrow? So here I am, I'm laying in bed and I can't sleep and I'm thinking about my website, my YouTube channel, the business that I want to launch with all of this. And I just kept thinking about how I, I think I wanted a, a tighter, smaller focus than what I have because the vintage thimble I originally chose because it could be so vast. You could kind of just keep going back in time and it would probably still fit under the umbrella vintage. And the more I thought of it, the more I realized that actually I really want to focus in on like the Victorian era, maybe a bit of Edwardian Regency era as well. But the, the level of interest in the sewing in the Victorian era is for me is second to none. Everything is so intricate and detailed and there was so many you know rules to how things were put together and everything and it just I find it absolutely fascinating and so I decided that I'm gonna really focus on and I kept thinking about I'm not sure anymore if the vintage thimble is completely saying what I want my business to say or not and I must admit I am swayed by the fact that there is someone else out there that has the dot com domain now and I really wanted the dot com domain because it is better for search engines but the more I lay there in bed thinking the more I kept thinking I kind of like the sound of the Victorian thimble better and then I decided you know what I'm gonna get up I'm laying here in bed I'm tossing and turning I'm gonna get up and go research this so I did my searches and you can imagine just how delighted I was to discover that the victorianthimble.com domain is open for purchase. There is no one on Facebook, YouTube, or Instagram with the Victorian Thimble as an operating name at all. There's no business registered in Canada as the victorianthimble.com. If you search the victorianthimble.com. You'll find me now, but my website's not ready, no peeking. Um, but there's no other businesses with this name. So when I say I had to change my name, there wasn't actually a conflict, but I became obsessed. Because if you recall, the last time I said, you know what, I'm just gonna wait till I'm ready to start my website. And by the time I was ready to do that, the domain I wanted to purchase was gone. It's already duplicated out there and I, I just, I couldn't sleep. All I could think was, I don't think I could live with myself if I let this happen a second time. All I could think was, I'm going to be unbelievably frustrated with myself if I let a domain name slip away again. It did wind up to cost me some money. Mistakes sometimes cost us money and indeed, this was probably a hundred dollar mistake from start to finish. I had already purchased the domain name and the business license for the vintage thimble. And now I want it to be the Victorian thimble. Like really badly, I want this change. So I decided that I would be better off to swallow that financial mistake right now and change the name to what I want while my channel's still small and grow it with the name I want than to keep going with a name I wasn't totally sure about. So I did it. So there you have it. I ended up spending the rest of the night. I was up until 3.30 in the morning that night updating my domain name on my website, on my Facebook, on my Instagram, on my YouTube channel. And now finally I've made this video just to explain to you why I changed my business name. 
With the Victorian thimble, it is gonna have a nice focus to it that we are gonna time travel together through sewing. I time travel the world in my kitchen every day, every week. My family loves this huge variety of foods. We eat from almost every cuisine you could think of and we just really enjoy a variety of foods because everything's so global with cookbooks, the internet and everything. It's the same idea with sewing. You can bring an experience into your own reality and create that experience. So what I'm going to do is hone down and specialize on Victorian sewing skills, Victorian sewing methods and techniques, fabrics and materials used, and together we are going to time travel while we sew. So there you have it guys. Thank you for tuning in to Thimble Talk Thursday number three. You're watching Cassie Jackson, who was with formerly the Vintage Thimble, now with the Victorian Thimble. Signing off. Bye guys.